Hey, welcome everyone to Health Coach TV. Uh, we had some technical difficulties, and uh, I used to do these interviews with Be Live TV. And uh, so, fortunately, we could come back to this uh, good old standby of Be Live TV um, because, for some reason, even though earlier today's Zoom Facebook Live connection was working, uh, it wasn't. So, um, uh, in order to get rid of the whirly bird, if there's a will, there's a way. So without further ado, the uh, only thing is I can't quite see uh, you guys. So I'm going to see if I can pull that up. So still put your questions in. I think I will be able to see that as it comes here. So definitely, if you're seeing us and you're able to watch us, uh, definitely put a uh, a thumbs up or we see you. It would be great to know if, if you're able to visualize this. The way it's been a while since I've used Be Live TV, I was able to see that people were watching. You are able to comment and like and and ask questions here. Um, and so as we get into that, we will we will see that. So without further ado, um, if you are joining us here uh, and this is your first ever Health Coach TV, put a number one. And if you've seen a bunch of these, put some hearts there. We would love to see that. Um, and I want to acknowledge Mary Ann Brown for uh, sticking with us through all these painful little technical difficulties as we talk about pain. Welcome, Mary Ann. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Donna. Right. Well, it was going so smooth about an hour or so ago. We just checked everything and it worked perfectly. But such is live, right? But it's it's all good. It's all well. If we can get this message out there, uh, it is too important uh, to to not you know, get this message. Uh, uh, I know there's a lot of people who are suffering with chronic pain um, and uh, especially uh, nurses. Uh, I know as a doctor, uh, I remember a lot of nurses, uh, orderlies and aides and things lifting patients and then suffering chronically with back pain. And I know you know a lot about that. And we're going to hear from your story in just a moment. So without uh, and before we get started, I also want to share a disclaimer um, although I am a medical doctor, I'm not your medical doctor. So you'll always want to consult with your own healthcare provider about what is right for you. Um, but we're happy to share some advice and some uh, opinions on what has been working for Mary Ann and some of the people that she has been connecting with. And if they can help you out, then fantastic. Um, so let me introduce this fantastic woman to you in case you have not had the pleasure of meeting her. So Mary Ann Brown has more than 30 years of experience as a healthcare professional. She's been empowering people with her passion because she knows firsthand the impact that physical and emotional trauma can have on one's life and well-being. She lives in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with her partner and two dogs, Captain and Cody. She specializes in helping people get rid of pain and works with people to improve their physical and emotional well-being. So welcome, Mary Ann. Thank you for uh, persevering through our technical difficulties. <laughs> Well, Shauna, you're really, really good with the technology. <laughs> you got us on, so. <laughs> there's a will, there's a way. I, I've been doing this for many years and I have several tricks up my sleeve so I can always pull out. I think we were on plan F though. <laughs> Anyways, well, take it. Tell us, Marianne, what is it that you do now? What kind of work do you do? Well, I really help people, especially nurses and healthcare workers. You know, since I saw a lot of them get injured, including myself, I help them get rid of their back pain so that they can, of course, move with ease and actively enjoy their career and family life. Awesome. That's fantastic. And um, and oh, you know what? Hang on just one moment. Um, I remember something now. Uh, I believe nobody can see this. Uh, now I think we're going to be good now. I was wondering why I, we had so many people uh, wanting to watch. Uh, hang on. Um, <laughs> uh, hang on. Uh, one moment, please, as I pause. I just want to see. Is it, we, you can see us? Oh, okay. Okay. No, I don't see any comments. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Gerald. Thank you. Okay. They can't see us because I saw something else about uh, um, that it was set just to 
uh, broadcaster only, which could explain it because we had a bunch of people on when I just was testing the line and then uh, we lost them. So hopefully they'll find their way back to us here now. All right. Um, OK, sorry about that. So take us back, Mary Ann. And this is the, the most important part here anyways. And like what had you get into this line of work and want to help people get out of pain? What was it that was started this all off? Well, um, my physical healing journey began in 1998 when I sustained an injury while I was working patients and while I was working as a healthcare professional. Um, and the injury extended from my upper back all the way down to my lower back. And um, then I sought out, I was on and off workman's comp for five years. And then I sought out and I couldn't get help. Like I kept getting re-injured. Um, I went to physical therapy, went to doctors, and I just kept getting re-injured. And then in... Um, then I met a physical therapist who rehabbed with Pilates and I asked her for help. And that's when I learned all about Pilates and alignment and getting rid of my own back pain. It took a good, it took a while for me to get realigned. And so then in 2005, I um, established my own personal training business, uh, Marianne's Pilates Plus. Yeah. And so it's, I mean, you've been at this work for a long time. I mean, back 1998, all the way through. And um, I know that there are many women out there uh, and men too, for that matter. Um, but people out there who can absolutely relate to that pain in like five years. <laughs> and, uh, and then to, to, realize how um, to stumble upon really Pilates as that first avenue. We're going to go through a number of tools, but that first avenue in helping you with your back pain. Um, and, uh, and we're going to talk more about, you know, what that meant for you and, and, uh, and that. Uh, but a lot of people just think about it as exercise. And, um, and, but it is really about strengthening the core and, and uh, you found some relief in there. Um, so that was, that was uh, one of those first major pivot points where you were like, hey, there are things that I can do. I don't have to just suffer chronically for years, although you did, <laughs> but I don't have to continue on that way. Um, but as life sometimes happens, uh, then it wasn't smooth sailing after that. And there was another series of challenges. So tell us like, you know, what, what was happening next as well in this time frame? Well, so the emotional aspect of that pain um, grew as I um, began my emotional journey in 2003, whenever I went, was going through a devastating divorce and reestablishing relationships with my two sons. And then in 2005, I developed breast cancer and I lost my mother at the same time. And then in 2006, my father passed away and chemo and surgeries were just tearing my body apart physically. And the losses of my parents were tearing me apart emotionally. And that's when I really wanted to improve myself um, I needed to get myself back on the road and, you know, thankfully um, and gratefully, I was introduced to many, many different healing modalities and natural tools and they truly, truly changed my life. Yeah. So through all of that pain, um, you know, the physical recovery first, I really learned that emotionally um, that you have to heal emotionally and physically at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I can't imagine, I know that I had a time period where there was lots of loss and it seems like it's, it's, uh, if it doesn't rain, it pours, you know, and where you're hit with so many things all at once. So, you know, a devastating divorce, breast cancer diagnosis, the loss of your mom and your dad and like, how much more can you possibly take and how much more can that body take? And so that the physical pain and the physical illness really um, was closely intertwined with the emotional pain and, and, 
and illness, if you want to call it that way too. So um, it started off with back pain and then your whole journey and, oh, it talk about taking school of hard knocks to a whole other level of learning, like, okay, how do I get myself out of that? And they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> you got stronger, that is for sure. So, um, so tell us from all of that, traumatic era of life, what was some of the, the springboards from that? So sometimes I, I have a phrase amongst my friends here that I often share is like, you know, all of that crap is great fertilizer for your dreams. Um, so, and a lot of times that is, gives birth to something way better than what was there before. What came out of that? Well, um, through healing myself and um, just really working in the healthcare professional, continuing, you know, to do that, I just watched all these people in pain, in emotional pain, going through all this trauma, when all of these healing modalities and these natural products and remedies um, really just uplifted me and created joy and brought so much back to my life. Um, you know, that I wanted to embrace um, my own way of doing that. And so in 2010, I started a new business, and it's called A Natural Side of Wellness, um, which embraces a wide range of natural healing techniques. Um, and I'm just so happy and joyful. And um, I... I never look back on my journey. Yeah. It's, it's just a journey. I'm yeah. not never, ever sad. Yeah. Um, it's really, really happy where I'm at now. Well, and you know, all of that led to all of the greatness now. So like that was part of it. And because of what you've gone through, you can help people on such a deeper level. You have a, such a deeper understanding and compassion uh, for them. So what's the, and you know what, I'm going to, we're, we're going to do this uh, interview again at some point too. Uh, Marianne, uh, normally I use Facebook lives and, and, uh, and so if you've been listening to us, I know that we've had some technical difficulties and I am, I'm not sure if people are able to see this or not. I, I know that there were about seven people right away who were eager and were commenting on my individual and I and I don't know if a Facebook live maybe has a block on here or something because so far my husband can see you but not uh, I'm not sure if anyone else does so um, and I'm, it's possible in our haste uh, I have some setting on here that is preventing anyone else <laughs> from seeing this so we will definitely do this again because this is really an important message to get out there but we will have this recording and and, and we can do that um, so I will put a natural side of wellness.com in the comments here so if people are wanting to uh, see that I think that's already there but if if people are wanting to find out more about you beyond the broadcast they can Tell us about what is a core message that you'd like to share with people who are in pain. Well, I want to inspire and empower people to know that they don't have to live with their pain, mm -hmm. nor do they have to live with their emotional pain. Um, you know, it might take a little while to get stronger and to overcome, and but the key is to learn, you yeah. know, to yeah. learn, reteach yourself. Um, yeah get into those upper floors of joy. Yeah. Um, recreation. Yeah. And you know, that when you mentioned that, that it was a choice that, that people don't have to stay in pain. Um, that was, uh, I remember feeling the same way about uh, people in their health. So as a medical doctor and as a radiologist and seeing people really destroy themselves in front of my eyes, like I would see them at the end game of cancer, diabetes, heart disease. Um, and I'm like, oh, gosh, you know what, it didn't have to be that way. But they didn't know that they had power in their choices and that their choices had some consequences. So I'm like, oh, like, if I could get out ahead of that and tell people that, that, that they have a choice, that health is a choice. But I must say, you know, I have been blessed with not really having, you know, pain is not something that I've had to ever deal with chronically at all. Thank goodness. Um, 
And, uh, but when you said they don't have to stay in pain and it's a choice, I was like, hmm, pain. I'm pretty sure nobody actually chooses to be in pain. And that's certainly not what you're saying, that you're, you're not saying they're consciously saying, I want pain. We all want to be out of pain. So how could you help people choose not to keep their pain? So on one end point, I understand exactly what you're saying, because I know that health is a choice, but I hadn't taken it to that level of in terms of pain where that's the, the realm that you're dealing with. So how could you help people choose not to keep their pain? Because I'm sure they would like to choose not to if they could. So tell us more about that. Well, so what people don't realize is that their muscles have memory of the pain and their brains have memory of the trauma that happened to it. So the injured muscle has this memory and has this pain and the body just keeps trying to shift away from the pain. And of course, this is a natural response to the body. Um, so then as the body's shifting, other muscles take over and they get uh, overworked and it creates muscle imbalances because every single muscle has a specific job to do. And when that specific muscle isn't doing that job, then other muscles come to take over and help it and they get tired and imbalanced and the body just starts shifting. It was just like me. You know, by the time that um, five years later, I was a scoliosis. My back was so mis misaligned. And, um, and it was just from tight muscles pulling everywhere and pulling me out of place. And so it's a matter of just, you know, realigning those and teaching the body how to um, be back in balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it makes sense. Like if you get pain and you're kind of guarded on and then it's like a ripple effect throughout the whole body. And, and it started one way. You, you had a good example of with your knee um, that when you that really helped me understand what what you meant by that. Um, so share with us that story. So I developed um, knee pain for some reason. I don't know where it came from or anything but I would go up the steps and my knee started hurting and I would start shifting away. And so then my hip and my ankle got more of the weight. And so those became painful and it was like, Oh my gosh, I got to do something about this right now. And so I really started looking at the way I was walking up the steps and the alignment that I was going up the steps with. And once I figured, you know, that my foot was turned and my knee was turned and then um, I got back into alignment, the pain went away. Mm -hmm. But as I can, like the next time I would go up the steps, my brain remembered that you had pain. And so I was like compensating again and I was shifting away from that pain again. And I really had to talk to myself every time I went up those steps, you don't have any pain. Marianne, you, you don't have any pain. Go up normal. Mm -hmm. um, and I really had to get that trauma out of my brain. Yeah, because you're, you're on guard and you're afraid to go. It's a Pain is a powerful, um, I don't know, trigger for us. And so we don't want to go there so that you're all, all on guard. And the on guardness um, is not helpful, especially after the pain's gone. And so when there's no pain there. So, yeah, I get that. I, I get where when you're in that familiar circumstance again, it's kind of like, um, uh, you know, pregnant women, if they have a certain smell and then they're back in that environment later and they're say they're they're pregnant, they smell something and they feel nauseated. Now they're not pregnant and they smell that and they can feel nauseated again and they almost have to remind themselves hey I don't have morning sickness I don't have that and so kind of the same thing you're saying happens with pain so you have that pain and you're like hey remember you're not in pain so I think that's really powerful and um, I'm seeing more uh, people are seeing us now so this is good <laughs> they were finding our way we're using a different technology here at the moment and they found our way to us so this is great so tell us um uh a, a little bit more about that about um you know where what 
emotions and and mindset and 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 what role that has uh tell us more about that well so the thing is is that whenever you get a diagnosis or whenever you are in pain don't take that label don't take that diagnosis as being yours um you know don't attach it to you because whenever you do that then you're saying well i have this and like we said, you know, the muscles have memory, the brain has memory. Um, and so when you become it, then you are it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I really help people to do is to help re erase that memory um, of the injury by reinstructing the body. And I help to erase the memory from the brain um, so it can get out of the trauma so much faster. And always remember that the sooner that you get out of that trauma and that pain, then the sooner that you heal. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't stick to you. Yeah. I mean, you know, if I use um, an analogy with clients that I've had, you know, if they're losing weight, say you go uh, at Christmas time or uh, maybe you're on a cruise or something and you gain 10 pounds. Um, if you nip it in the bud and come back and, and lose it right away, I always felt like it's they're not sticky pounds. They're just they're going to go right away. But if you go on that cruise or whatever, you gain the 10 pounds and then you have that as your new normal. And then you accumulate on and on and on. It's harder to lose. Or let's say you've been obese your entire life um, and you can lose that 100 pounds, but you still have the identity of someone who's obese, then you will sabotage yourself so that you're back obese. And you're saying the same thing happens when you are labeled with a chronic back pain, when you take that on and say, oh, I'm someone who has pain, that that perpetuates, that's part of the problem, it perpetuates that is kind of what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and so that the sooner, like you were saying, the sooner you can nip it in the bud and say, hey, I had an injury, and, and the pain is a signal, it's important, we're not, I mean, the pain gives us information that something's not right um but then as soon as possible uh you know uh recorrect that you know and not take that on as who you are yeah love that love that um okay tell us how exactly do you work with um clients like how does this work when you are working with people and and just as a shout out i just want to feel free to say hi oh hi rachel now we're seeing hi rachel hi glenn hi gerald uh and so just feel free to say hi we had some technical difficulties we wanted to make sure that you were seeing us so feel free to feel free to pop in there where you're joining us from we'd love to know uh where you're uh watching us where in the world you are uh while we're doing this and uh, and we'll give you a shout out um so tell us uh mary ann um how is it that you work with clients who are in pain? How does this actually work? What do you do? Well, so I work with them very, very closely. And I actually do whatever it takes to get them out of the pain. Um, it's every single person is a customized. It depends on what's causing the pain and how long you've had the pain for. Mm -hmm. um, and the first step is an initial assessment that I do um, for free either at my home office or virtually um, like on Zoom on the video conferencing. Mm -hmm. And um, so then after that, I look at the initial assessment and I see what's going on. And together we work closely with um, aligning and personal training exercises, um, even mind body connection and some anti-inflammatory nutrition because we want to get the inflammation that has set in we want to get that out also so that the body can heal fully um and whatever other tools it takes whatever is required not to only get you out of pain but for you to be proactive and um preventing the pain too from recurring yeah no that's really great i really love your approach it's really holistic in the whole sense of the word um you 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 come at it from every angle, um, both from an activity and exercise and alignment and nutrition and, 
you know, emotions. And as we, as you were sharing your really powerful story at the beginning, um, we can, you can see how all of what you led to, like that you went through led you to this incredible approach that's very customized that really looks at, you know, you have lots of tools in your toolkit to pull out to really help people with. And I know that you've got some amazing um, stories and testimonies. We're not gonna even go into those today. I mean, people can just experience that for themselves. Um, but uh, tell us a little bit, like you, you mentioned about alignment. It's not something that, um, you know, as me medical doctors, we're, we really talk about at all. But, uh, but that's part of it, like as you were sharing, like how people are on guard with, if they are got a sore knee and how they're guarded and kind of off kilter, uh, out of alignment. So how can you, how do you help people tell if they're aligned? And let's go through a couple of tips that you have uh, for people if they are in pain or, or some of the things that they can do. So let's start with how do you, how do you tell if you're in alignment? So I've been watching bodies for 30 years and, um, it just brings me so much joy. And I can tell when somebody is just walking differently, you know, I watch people all the time. And so whenever, um, like, let's take the knee, for example, again. Um, so your knee joint has four different types of muscles. And when the outside muscle starts working because it's being pulled, because that's where your gravity, you know, moving towards, then the middle muscle doesn't get worked. And so that's what keeps pulling you out of alignment. So what I do then is I really look at the body and you know, it's just not the knee. Every, your whole entire body is attached to itself. Mm -hmm. I had one client that had right foot pain um, all the time and it would come and go and then she would sleep and that pain would come back in her foot or move a certain way. And we found out that it was actually coming from her neck, her, sh her shoulder was hiked. And so it was pulling all over the entire body. Mm -hmm. and so when I made her aware of that hiked shoulder and got her, you know, to where it was in proper alignment, then that foot pain went away, mm -hmm. right? Like who would think, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and then, so, no, that's great. No, keep going. <laughs> and so, you know, whenever you're doing cooking for the holidays um, and you're really bent over or you're really rushing to get done with work because you want to take that holiday vacation and you're really bent over, um, you know, the first thing to look at is to do the opposite motion, you know, to take that break only for five or 10 minutes. And just bend backwards and actually put those muscles in your back in a relaxed position. And it's amazing. It just that five minutes or 10 minute break gives you an extra three hours of work. Yeah. That you can do because it just puts your body in a relax. It takes the tension away. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so the other thing that I do is I do a lot of mirror work. Um, I have people look in the mirror. And I have them look at their bony landmarks um, because you can tell if your chin is off kilter. Um, you can tell if your, your lips are off kilter. If one muscle is pulling a different way, you can tell if your neck muscles are off kilter or one shoulder is higher than the other shoulder. Um, and I work with a lot of bony landmarks. So, you know, if you put your, your hands on your collarbone, mm -hmm. um, and if they're out of alignment, you can actually feel that mm -hmm. if one is higher than the other. Um, the same thing with your ribs um, and the same thing with your hips. The hips are a big one. You can feel if one hip is higher than the other. Um, and, you know, a, a strong core is definitely um, key also. Um, yeah. By holding your stomach muscles in whenever you're sitting up tall at your desk, right? I'll do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is whenever you um, activate your, your stomach muscles, it actually activates the back muscles at the same time, which then creates a corset, 
um, to hold everything together. Yeah, I can see, I, you know, as I'm, if everybody who's watching just kind of like, you know, um, strengthen or hold tight your core, you can, you can actually feel that, how that actually influences the back as well and how that strengthens. And, um, and it makes sense, like all of these different things that you're, you're talking about. And, and if we go back to your original story, which some people may have missed is, is with the, um, you know, five years of chronic back pain and then that Pilates work initially that you were doing, um, you know, we often think of that as strengthening the core and maybe just for weight loss or to get fit. Uh, but it is really a, a key component of, of helping offset back pain and being proactive with it as well. Um, and so it's, it's much more far reaching and just one of many tools that you have in your, your toolkit um, there. Yeah, that's fantastic. We also have from, um, uh, Glenn also mentioned how he had uh, back surgery, but it was your your approach there that helped him be really pain free. So I thank him for his testimonial there um, about that, and, and your work allowed him to get back to a normal routine. And um, back pain is a is a huge problem. It is a lot of people are suffering from that and not getting relief. They are. And hey, if you go and you get great results, uh, you know, with with whatever, you know, whether it's surgery or the medications or something that your doctor has uh, had you do, and that works great, fantastic. I just know that there are a lot of people who do that and still have a problem. And so, um, or maybe it's early on and it's, you know, they're wanting to like, are there is there anything that they can do so that they can get out of pain because all of those things don't happen just like that either so uh, the work that you do is tremendously important I mean if you can't walk uh, you, if you have back pain you're not walking you're not working I fell down the stairs back in um, I don't know lo long time ago <laughs> 2000 I think it was um, and uh, it was it was awful, like how much that I couldn't move. And, uh, and it was awful how much that ripple effects through everything through your work, through your life, through your daily activities of living, just, you know, showering or going to the bathroom, it all of a sudden presents a major problem. So uh, to be able to have uh, relief from that is tremendous. And I know you've had clients um, literally tearfully grateful for the work that you do. And it's so, so, so important. So I just want to thank you. Uh, if anyone has any questions here, feel free to pop them in. Or if you have any, if you want to share with some of the favorite things that uh, Marianne has shared, feel free to put that in the comments here. Um, uh, I know that uh, uh, people can read, I know we put your website there a natural side of wellness.com and and you also have a facebook page also which is a natural side of wellness if people want to check you out um but i understand you've uh, been so gracious enough to open up uh some spots on your calendar uh for uh people if they have questions um because you help people not just in pittsburgh pennsylvania where you're at but globally and virtually um through zoom which is not like this but it's kind of like this where there's a video and you can you can do a video conference um and really uh connect with people one-on-one -on -one. um uh, yeah t tell me about that or tell us about that what uh what your um you know, willing to do or what that would be like um, if somebody has if somebody has questions, um, they would just click the link. Marianne Brown Consultation dot as dot me is that the uh, the link? Do I have the correct one? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So and if so, if they're wanting to connect with you, they they just uh, if they click the link, they'll find a time. Uh, that works for them and then you'll connect and you'll have a conversation and um, you can take it uh, from there. Does that sound, is that kind of what, what happens? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. And um, well, I just want to thank uh, you and everyone. And uh, we had to pull out an old way of um, 
doing these interviews that I haven't done for a while. Uh, very quickly, uh, Marianne was seeing me dust it off. I was showing her, I was like, oh boy, I'm gonna just skip over all the tutorials and I'm just gonna hope for the best. So uh, I'm thankful and, and, and appreciative of Be Live TV for being able to save us when we couldn't do that Facebook Live there. So if there's a will, there's a way. And uh, I, uh, we will do this in 2020 um, again, Marianne. We're gonna have you back on because I know that I have nursing friends, probably they're all at work right now lifting patients. <laughs> but I know I have nursing friends who would really appreciate uh, all of this information. And um, so if you are listening to this in replay, um, feel free to uh, connect and book a time with Marianne or check her out or ask some questions of her. Uh, uh, she'd be more than happy to get on a Zoom link um, and um, and connect with you because it is very individual. It, we've done our best to give uh, general statements, but as Marianne said at the beginning, um, it, it all depends on how long you've had the pain, why do you have the pain, what else is going on, and maybe it's just as simple as you, you know, lift it up some a patient, but maybe it's also like you've had a lot of traumatic uh, events in your life, and there's more than that. There's a saying, issues are in the tissues. Um, and there's certainly some truth to that. So I want to just thank you, uh, everybody, for sticking with us with a little bit of technical difficulties. Thank you, Marianne, for popping on and sharing um, your brilliance and um, being willing to help these people get out of the pain. You make a world of difference for people. And I'm really appreciative of you. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> All right. Uh, until, well, the next episode will be in 2020. So uh, until next time, be good for you.